You've been prepped and disarmed. Do you have anything to declare before execution, Dr. Holliday? Pick up the compass from the chair. You must avoid moving too quickly or too slowly. You are ready. Now, hit this switch on the east door and proceed through. Run. Good job. The ectoplasmic targeting system. One last technique when navigating darkness. Your night vision goggles will help you find your way. However, always beware the danger of bodies of water. Your goggles see through water as though it were not there. Hmm, night vision goggles or multiple flashlight? Enemy attacks. Don't just stand there like a civilian firing away. Back away while shooting, keeping maximum distance between yourself and the night crawlers. And if things get too close for comfort, run to a better shooting position. up the items. If you've been hurt badly, you can use the first aid bags to heal yourself. Switch weapons to that rifle you just picked up, soldier. What you're holding now is a Delisle Carby, 45 caliber. It has a seven round magazine and is designed to be a truly silent weapon. It is considered by many to be the most effective firearm of its type ever produced. Time to move on.
You may find yourself in a situation with poor visibility. Strategize, run to a better location, then turn and fight. It is often better to retreat back to familiar territory. Beyond the door, you'll find a melee weapon. Pick it up. This type of weapon will come in handy when you're out of ammo or fighting bulletproof nightcrawlers. Decapitation is a definitive solution. There is a catch, though. You gotta get up close. We've given you a large wooden stake, for reasons you can probably guess. Whether or not you use it is up to you. Large weapons like that stake cannot be stored in your jacket. To use these, you must first ready the weapon by drawing it before you can brandish it. You can put down the weapon when it's not drawn. Return to the room with the electric chair to complete lesson of the day. Be ready for anything and never let your guard down. Proceed to the chair room to complete the execution. Instructional execution is complete. 
If you found yourself running out of ammunition, you should try this training mission again to improve your accuracy. We are finished here. Meet me in the sparring room so I may help you in your pre-mission meditation. And Holiday, Colonel Hapscomb pushed forward his briefing with you and Stranger to 1000 hours tomorrow. That's 1000 hours sharp. Aye, sir. Stranger, where did you come from? Same place as you. That's impossible. I was just in the hall and... Never mind. Would you like to do the honors, stranger? What do you think? Then allow me. The world is a dark place. Who will protect the world from darkness? We will. After you. What's with you, Holiday? The door's this way. Security here is a joke. Hasn't changed since Roosevelt founded Spook House in 1902. Been using the same password for decades. We're becoming predictable. Predictable is dangerous. You are displaying a decided paranoia. No one even knows about this place. Whoever it is, they won't have a hard time getting in here. And you won't be so confident when you're dead within a year. What? Stranger, do you really have to be so morbid all the time? Just once might we hold a normal conversation. I'll meet you in the Colonel's office. I want to talk with Svetlana. She should be in the training room with Rigson. Colonel, your message sounded urgent. Where is the stranger? Speaking with Svetlana. He'll be in shortly. All right, so let's bring you up to speed then. We've received news of some rather violent murders in Maryland. An old hermit named Rustin Parr walked into Burkittsville and announced that he was finally finished. When authorities searched his house, they discovered the bodies of seven children in the cellar, all of them horribly mutilated. Quite gruesome, really. Mutilated? Ritualistically tortured before being killed. He'd carved symbols of some kind into their bodies. He disemboweled each of them. The entrails were never found. Colonel? The FBI sent agents to assist the local sheriff. Their reports lead us to believe there's more at work in that little town than the actions of one insane old man. Pa told police that he killed for an old woman ghost that lives in the woods. Well, that began the local recirculation of legends about the Blair Witch. I suppose I should have expected that reaction. Yes, he doesn't like being sent anywhere. He can't shoot something. Nevertheless, I want you to go to Burkittsville and investigate. Call in stranger if you need help. 
If anyone asks, tell them that your niece has been missing for several months and that you think this par character might have had something to do with it. And do avoid confrontation. These people have been living a nightmare. Frightening them any further simply will not do it. I'll keep that in mind, Colonel. Where's Justine? Away. She said sorry she could not stay and uh, be careful on your mission. I see you are traveling light, as usual. Yes, well, we mortals have to depend on our equipment. Right, stranger? Speaking of which... Damn it, stranger! You've been going through my things again! How many times do I have to tell you hands off? Svetlana, I'm going to need my spectral proximity sensor. Are you finished with it? Yeah, I was actually returning it. Expecting ghosts in the woods? You never know what's out there. I know what's not out there. You see, Svetlana, since Stranger has never found evidence to substantiate any of the Black Hills legends, Blair Witch or otherwise, the case is closed as far as he's concerned. If something's not there, it's not there. You can look all you want. You never had the SPS before, so you could have been surrounded by ghosts the entire time and never known it. I'll find out for sure. What are you packing? Ugh. It's the Enhanced Charged Radiance Emitter. A glorified flashlight at best. It seems you found it useful in Germany. So the Blair Witch is a vampire. Well, that's not likely. But either way, I'll be prepared. Besides, I've made some enhancements. The charge time is decreased, and it operates on a far wider spectrum. I'm hoping it also affects ghosts and specters. Mm -hmm. Taking anything that shoots real bullets. My Luger and a Delisle carbine. Good choices. Quiet. Colonel's advice, huh? Ah, yes. Mustn't forget your trusty recorder. Oh, it's more than a recorder. It can also manipulate audio signals. With it, I can hear sounds that are normally undetectable. And the fancy camera you modified. Photographic records are essential to my research. Well, I guess that's about everything. Good luck, Doctor. Not going to wish me luck. If you still need luck with all that gear, you're really in trouble. Oh, and be sure and call me if you run into any actual monsters. Welcome to Burkittsville, ma'am. Uh, I'd like a room, please. Certainly. Will your husband be joining you? I'm not married. I see. So you're uh, traveling alone, then? I am. Is there a problem? Oh, certainly not, ma'am. No, no problem at all. We just don't get many visitors through here, that's all. Except for the reporters, of course. The last of them finally cleared out this morning. Good riddance, I say. So what did happen then, exactly? God only knows what the papers outside of town are saying. 
I'm sure they're having a field day with it. Not that the story isn't terrific enough as it is. Our local paper, the Register, will give you the best account. You should see about picking up a copy. Here's your key. I've put you in room four. How long do you think you'll be staying with us? Um, a few days, I imagine. Field notes of Dr. Elspeth Holliday, Burkittsville, Maryland, July 21st, 1941. I've only been here half an hour, and already the small-town attitude is getting on my nerves. The manager at Burkittsville's only inn just stood there waiting for my husband to show up. Guess he's never seen a woman travelling alone. I'll see the sheriff next, play up my cover story, and maybe aim for a little pity. The helpless woman routine should go over easily in this town. I can't carry all my gear in town. I'll get it before I go into the woods. This isn't my room. I hate to pry, but uh, what brings you to the town of Burkittsville, anyway? Actually, I'm here on rather grim business. I have a sister who lives in Martinsburg. A few months ago, her daughter disappeared. Oh, my. That, that's just awful, ma'am. You don't think Ruston Pa? After three months, we're desperate to find any clue. So what do you know about Pa? Not much. Pa was a hermit. He only came into town when he had to. No one really knew old Ruston. You should take it up with the sheriff. He knows details most of us would never even want to hear. And where can I find him? His office is in Town Hall, in the middle of town. Can't miss it. Hmm, this must be where pies go when they die. Hi, honey. My name's Gretchen. What can I get for you today? I'll just have the blue plate special. Thank you. I'm Peter Durant. Uh, Gretchen here owns this place, and she's the best darn cook in the county. Oh, Peter, stop. You're new in town, aren't you? No, I'm just visiting. My name's Elspeth Holliday. It's nice to meet you. Uh, what brings you to Burkittsville? You're not another reporter, I hope. Oh, no. Um, my sister's daughter disappeared a few months ago in Martinsburg. Oh, no, honey, that's just awful. Terrible. You don't think Rustin Parr had anything to do with it, do you? I certainly hope not, but it is possible. I'm in town to talk to the sheriff who investigated the case. The sheriff's name is Damon Bowers. Town Hall is down the street on the other side of the church. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Durant, if you don't mind my asking, what is your occupation? Not rude at all. 
I'm a librarian and head of the Burkittsville Historical Society. An historian? Ah, any areas of expertise? Well, just the history of Burkittsville. I guess you could call me an authority. I've been studying it all my life. Oh, interesting. Oh, it really is. We have quite a colorful history here. These uh, recent events have brought to light one of our oldest legends, stories about the Blair Witch. I've heard a few of the stories, but I don't really believe in that sort of thing. I do. I witnessed it myself. When I was a kid, a girl I knew named Robin Weaver disappeared in the woods. What happened to her? She eventually made her way back to town. And? Oh, it wasn't what happened to her that scared me. Heck, it still scares me now. This might sound silly, but uh, I'd rather not tell the story at night. If you are interested in our history, come by the library tomorrow. We have plenty of written documentation. And if you pry, I may tell you my account of the Robin Weaver story. I might take you up on that offer. Uh, now, you said this girl, Robin Weaver, came out all right? What happened while she was gone? You should ask her. She still lives here. Careful, though. She's a little peculiar. Gretchen. It's true, Peter. That may be, but, uh, Miss Holliday, Robin Weaver's always been a bit eccentric, even when she was a child. She keeps to herself most of the time now and would probably prefer being left alone. You know, you should stop by the newspaper office. The editor's name is Horace Gersten. He's been there a long time. He could tell you a lot of stories. It's pretty late now, but with the madness of the trial and all, he's been keeping some late hours. I bet he's still there. Where is the newspaper office? It's up the road a ways, right across the street from the library. Keep Horace in mind if you need any information that you can't get from Peter. As for Parr specifically, try talking to people who knew the victims. Anyone that knows Kyle Brody might help. Kyle's the boy that escaped from Rustin Parr. Word is he was forced to face the corner and listen as Parr did horrible things to those children. Can you imagine? He hasn't spoken a single word since he got back. But his teacher at the school is close to all the children of Burkittsville. Maybe she can help you. Oh, honey, I've been talking your ear off. Your dinner's getting cold. You go on and eat now. I've just met the town's librarian, Peter Durant, who promises to have a lot of information about local legends and mythology. So I'll visit the library tomorrow. Burkittsville residents are no strangers to the Blair Witch legends. Interesting that no one seems to have any first-hand experience with a witch, but nearly everyone claims to know someone who has, or know someone who knows someone. There's nothing of interest in that direction. Oh, <laughs> snuck up on me, huh? What can I do you for? Sorry, I didn't mean to surprise you. My name is Elspeth Holliday. Gretchen, uh, at the diner, told me I should speak to a Horace Gersten. Yep, that's me. You a reporter? If so, you've already met the best source of news in town. That Gretchen's faster than the AP wire. You're too late for the big story, though. So I've heard. But I'm not a reporter, and, and that's not why I'm here. Well, not directly, anyway. I see. Well, this sounds interesting. My eight-year-old niece has been missing for months. I'm trying to find some information about Rustin Pa. Well, you came to the right place. I can give you the morning edition. It'll bring you up to date. Oh, that would be wonderful. You seem awfully busy. You've broken the big story, haven't you? Oh, already wrapped that. I'm on to a bigger one. <laughs> this town ain't seen nothing yet. Is there anything else you can tell me about Paul? 
Well, I could, but... Well, you'd probably better talk to the sheriff first. Have you met Junior? Not yet, no. Well, that's really who you should talk to. Yeah, Junior's office is in the middle of town. Town Hall. A current issue of the Register, Burkittsville's only paper. Ma'am, how was your first day in Burkittsville? A long one. Tomorrow will be worse, I'm afraid. I'm planning on visiting Ruston Parr's place. You realize it's a four-hour walk, right? Do you even have a map? No. Where can I get one? Hmm. Don't rightly know. The uh, general store up the street, maybe? But, well, you, you just be careful, ma'am. Those woods are plenty dangerous. Wild animals? Animals? <laughs> no, no, ma'am. Animals stay out of those woods. They know better. Sometimes animals have more sense than people. So what should I be careful of? I pray to God you don't find out. 
And just stay away from Tappy East Creek. That's where she lives. Who? About a hundred years ago, she reached her pale white hand out of the water and pulled a little girl into the river. They never found the body. She's still down there in the water, waiting for another victim. You're talking about the Blair Witch. Shh! I don't ever want to say that. She hears you when you say your name. Now stay away from that creek, man. For the love of God, stay away from that forest altogether. Now, good night. There's no phone in this room. Oh, how am I supposed to check in with Spook House? I'll have to talk to that innkeeper about it tomorrow. I can track it with my spectral proximity sensor. Anybody here? There's a note on the door. On vacation back next Monday.
Is that the sheriff? What's he about then? That's not where I need to go now. come in handy. Excuse me, are you a daymite? is going on here. I've never heard of Daymites this far north.
Christmas be where pies go when they die. It won't open. It won't open. It won't open. Run, God, little low day mites. Come on, come on. Oh, <laughs> Wrong way.
can't waste any time. I've got to track that thing. This isn't my room. Hello? Anybody here? There's nothing of interest in that direction. I shouldn't stray far from town.
it's locked. from me. What have I done? I've killed all of them. I just had the most disturbing dream. The people of Burkittsville turned into horrible creatures. I killed all of them, but then they transformed back into humans. I had no choice. I lost control of myself. I killed those people. I remember seeing the stranger. He was standing above me, looking down. God, I was dead. I was shot through the head. But the gun was in my hand. I wonder what it all means. This town must be really getting to me. I wish I'd just fled from the monsters, ran into the forest or something, so I wouldn't have been forced to kill them. I can't carry all my gear in town. I'll get it before I go into the woods. Hold it. Stop right there. Are you Sheriff Bowers? I know why you're here. Martinsburg's out of my jurisdiction. Check with the sheriff there. We've done that, thank you. But there's been no sign of Jenny since she vanished. We are completely out of leads, and my sister's getting desperate. So I decided to come here and see... And you think Rustin Parr took your niece? <sighs> Listen, lady. Eight children disappeared from this town. One of them is back home right now, staring at the corner of his room. The other seven we dug out of shallow graves in Parr's basement. We searched every corner of that house. There was nothing else there. Be on your way. Sheriff had a point, you know. All seven kids we found in Parr's basement were local kids. I'd like to see his house. The par place? Um, yeah. Well, you see, the day they sentenced par, a lot of folks, well, they got all worked up and went out to his house, uh, burned it to the ground. They destroyed the house? Now, these people have been through hell this year. Now, I'm not excusing what they did, but tempers were running hot. Some of these people lost their children. And it's not like there was anything left out there anyway. 
We went over the entire place with a fine-tooth comb. We found everything we needed to put Par away for good. <laughs> this trial was quick. Is there any way I could talk to the judge who presided? I've got some questions I'd like to ask. Well, that trial must have worn him out because he just, um, up and left without telling anyone. I came in and that sign was on the door. It's not really like him, but he's earned a few days off. The sheriff has proven less than helpful. He's on edge and openly hostile to me. The deputy, on the other hand, might be willing to help. I should talk to him when the sheriff isn't around. <sighs> that these people destroyed the crime scene is infuriating. There's no way that this backwater sheriff could have found the clues that I suspect littered that place. So much evidence lost. Welcome back, Miss Holliday. Sleep well last night? Oh, not really. I had the most disturbing dream. <sighs> Haven't we all? I doubt anybody in this town's getting much sleep lately. Can I get you something to eat? Just coffee, thanks. So, have you talked to the sheriff about your niece yet? I did, unfortunately. Ooh, I think I know what you mean. He's not a particularly jolly fellow to begin with. To be quite honest, sometimes he's even downright mean, especially to women. But he's been unusually cranky, even for him. Speak of the devil. Gretchen? Uh, hello yourself. Um, what can I get for you? The usual? You bet. Talk to you later, hon. Now's my chance to speak to the deputy alone. He obviously wanted to talk before, but the sheriff put a quick stop to that. Ma'am? Miss Holliday? Um, yes? Well, since the sheriff isn't here right now, I wanted to tell you. Well, I can't offer you much help, but this might be of some use. Every so often, I find these crazy stick figures in Parr's cell. And for the life of me, I can't figure out how he gets them in there. Would you be able to give one to me? Well, I had no need of them, so I've always thrown them out. Sorry. I wish there was more I could do to help. Well, actually, there is. Do you have a map that would lead me to Parr's house? You know, there's nothing left out there but smoldering wood. Yes, but I still need to see it for myself. Look, I'm sure we don't have much time before the sheriff gets back, and I can't waste it playing games. You seem like a good man, and I hope I can trust you. Trust me with what? I'm a doctor, working for a secret government agency that deals specifically with cases like Rust and Paws. What? And what agency would that be? If I told you it wouldn't be much of a secret, would it? <laughs> I suppose not. What about your missing niece? The missing niece is a fabrication, a cover story. It's important that you believe me now, Mr. Hobart. Call me Charlie. You know, Sheriff Bowers would lock you up if he heard the things you just told me. I know, but I had to take that chance. Please, Charlie, I need that map. The sheriff would have my hide if he found it missing. But I tell you what, we just won't tell him, will we? I gotta warn you, though. The map isn't complete. It'll get you close, but you'll have to find the house on your own once you get there. The path leading into the forest is behind the school. Thank you, Charlie. At least now I have a map to what's left of Pa's house.
<clears throat> Excuse me? Oh, oh, good Lord. Hello there. I'm sorry. I must have drifted off. I can return later if you like. No, no, don't rush off. I'm Suzanne Ascot. Can I help you? My name is Elspeth Holliday. I'm here in search of my missing niece. Oh, no. This nightmare is endless. Are you all right? <laughs> all right? How could I possibly be all right? Over half my students were slaughtered. My children. I know what's happened must have taken a terrible toll on you. I wish there was something I could do. You'll have to excuse me. I, I haven't been myself lately. No, uh, there's nothing you can do for me. Thank you, though. Oh, I'm terribly sorry about your niece. Why don't you just leave town? Get away for a while. If it were only that easy. But that's up to my husband. Your husband? Mm-hmm. Stephen Ascot, pastor of the church. I've asked him, begged him to move away, but he refuses. He says that without him, no one would be left in the town to appeal to God. Satan would swallow Burkittsville whole. But we've already lost eight of our beautiful children. Eight? Now, I thought only seven died. Mm-hmm. Kyle Brody... Well, he isn't dead, but how could anyone say he's alive? Poor, poor boy. He'll never be the same. What's wrong with him? After he escaped from Parr, he became unreachable. He doesn't eat, he doesn't sleep, he doesn't talk. That's awful. He must have been severely traumatized. I just wish there was some way to pull those terrible memories out of his head. I do, too. Especially after a glimpse of what's in his mind. He drew this a few weeks ago. Some weird scribbles and symbols with the words, leave me alone. That is disturbing. Yes, I know. I almost stopped going by to check on him after I saw this. It's just so heartbreaking. Would you mind if I kept this? Well... If you want it. I know I'd be happy never to see it again. Would it be possible for me to see Kyle? That's not a good idea. He's not big on strangers anymore. He's not the only one. You could always try, though. I'd love to have your help if you think there's a way you can break through to him. The Brody house is out behind the hotel. The children Paul murdered accounted for half of the town's child population, and now it seems that the one survivor, a boy named Kyle Brody, is lost in a world of his own. The local school teacher, Suzanne Ascot, has been keeping track of Kyle's progress during his recovery from the abduction. She showed me one of the boy's drawings. There are strange symbols in the sketch that resemble alphabetic characters. Almost runic, but nothing I recognize. There might be something more to these markings. Perhaps Kyle saw these symbols at Ruston Parr's house. Well, if the townspeople hadn't burned the place to the ground, I could get samples and possibly translate the alphabet. Kyle Brody's house is behind the motel. I'll try to meet with him myself. How can I help you, ma'am? Mrs. Brody, I'm Elspeth Holliday. My sister... Yes, I've heard about you. 
and I am sorry for your loss, but you'll find no answers here. I'd like to speak with Kyle to see if he remembers anything about Jenny. You will do no such thing. Listen, Miss Holliday, I know the pain your family must be going through, but I don't know if my son will ever be the same. Some days he seems like he's making progress, and then he, he slips back away from me. It's a mother's worst nightmare. Since they found him in Paris, he's been like the walking dead. Oh, God, it rips my heart out to see him like this every day. Please, just go away. Just go. Don't bother my family anymore, for God's sake. We've been through enough. Goodbye, Miss Holiday. Just met Kyle Brody's mother. She's in pretty bad shape, and the boy's even worse. He sits on his porch, staring blankly off into space and clutching a ragged teddy bear. I'm convinced now that Pa was practicing some form of black magic. The symbols in Kyle's sketch are too uniform to be random scrawlings. They must be characters of, of some sort of alphabet, something that burned into his memory. They have some similarity with the demonic scripture I've seen. But how would Rust and Pa have learned a demon's alphabet? I'm ready to go into the woods now. I'd better take my gear with me. This isn't my room. I'm ready to go into the woods now. I'd better take my gear with me. Hmm, no, I shouldn't draw my weapons in town. There's nothing of interest in that direction. Wrong way. I shouldn't stray far from town. Hmm, no, I shouldn't draw my weapons in town.
though I shouldn't draw my weapons in town. Finally, to Pa's house, and perhaps visit Coffin Rock as well. The map grows awfully vague this far from town. I'm close to Pa's house, but I'll have to fill in my own details from here.
smell burnt wood. Pa's house must be nearby. I've found Pa's house. Well, what's left of it anyway. The people from Beckersville were quite thorough in demolishing this place. I was hoping that some of the interior would have survived, but they've nearly leveled the place. But there were markings on the wall. I can just barely make them out. Honestly, if I'd only been able to see these before the house was burned down. Perhaps if I wipe some of this grime away... Oh, it's no use. The walls are too burnt. Where did my kerchief go? Huh, it couldn't have just disappeared. Well, there's nothing more I can do here. Time to move on. There's still one other place around here I want to see. According to legend, the Blair Witch has made a number of sacrifices on Coffin Rock. I was told it was near Pa's house.
Something very strange has happened. I've entered an area of unnatural darkness. I heard strange sounds and saw some sort of movement. Oh, things seem to be back to normal now. This is strange. Someone has placed piles of stones and odd stick figures here. They appear to be roughly in the shape of a human. Perhaps it's ceremonial or symbolic. I don't know if these stones have anything to do with what I just experienced, but there seems to be a deliberate purpose to their arrangement. If there is witchcraft involved, there's no telling what sort of booby traps are attached to these things. I'd best leave everything as is. Senses aren't picking up anything. No ghosts anywhere. But this is definitely a place that has witnessed evil. I wish I could bring the whole team out here. Oh, but it would obviously attract too much attention. There just might be something in these woods. I certainly can't explain that brief darkness. I'll have to look into that when I get back into town. Something powerful is hiding in these woods. Hmm. Spook House requires more than just a bad feeling to warrant a full investigation. Unless I actually see anything, this case is closed. I need to get back to my hotel room. I'll report to Spook House that I've found nothing. Right, back to the hotel. I'll let Spook House know I've found nothing. That should amuse Stranger. I don't remember the path turning like this before. This doesn't correspond to the map.
The path I came from seems different again. How am I getting so mixed up? Here again? Well, now I'm positive I've been walking in circles. Admit it, Elspeth. You are lost. How are you going to find your way back now? Tama, welcome to my home. Please, come in. Thank you. I'm Elspeth Holiday. Call me Asgaya Gigoy. In these woods, you should hold your name close to your heart. When someone knows your true name, they have power over you. But didn't you just tell me your name? No, I told you what you may call me. My true name. I keep to myself. Uh, I see. Worry not. I will protect your name. I followed a white owl here. Ne Asja. The white owl is a symbol of great wisdom. It only reveals itself to those who are truly worthy. You must tell me now what it is you seek. I'm in search of my niece, Jenny. There is no need for you to lie. I don't know what you mean. You have no sister. You have two brothers, one elder, one younger. How do you know that? I told you, names are powerful things. All right. I'm here in search of the Blair Witch. I see. And do you truly believe in such things as witches? I've seen witchcraft, actually performed some myself. Yes, I see that. I can also sense that you prefer not to rely on any powers beyond your own. You open your heart only to what your eyes and ears tell you. That's true, but all I've encountered here are myths and legends. All myths and legends are rooted in truth. I'm not so sure. It may be merely a grain of truth, but it is there always. Are you saying the Blair Witch exists? I've heard the stories of your... Blair Witch. I've known these woods for many years, and never have I seen such a witch. What have you seen? When the white man settled these lands, he brought his own evils with him. But this land was not without evil even before the arrival of the white man. Even before my people lived here. This is Givnur, or Sight. While you wear it, you may see signs of the evil that was here even before this forest. Give no? Now, return to your people. Give Nur will allow you to find your way back. They change these woods. The forest twists under your feet, causing you to walk in circles. With Give Nur, you may find your way out. But take heed. There are forces stronger than Give Nur, 
and its sight might not always work. Why are you helping me? Because you are in need of help. And you are the only person who can help me. Can't you give me a straight answer? You, of all people, should understand the importance of keeping secrets. Is that not your task? Hiding the truth from those who would suffer by knowing? How could you know that? Knowing the truth is simple. Knowing what to do with it is not. Is there anything else you can tell me? I can tell you many things, but you have to know which questions to ask. Come back to me once you've learned more about this place. You'll have questions then, and I will have answers. Thank you for your help. We help each other. A peculiar native man named Asgaya Gagoy. He claims, well, he said many things. Extremely puzzling. He knew some very specific things about me that he couldn't possibly have known. He displays authentic perception. He warned me to keep my name secret. Usually, though, such precautions are encountered with demonology. Demons. He implied that the evil that occupies these woods existed before Ellie Kedward or any other white settlers. So even before the Blair Witch, there was something dark in this forest. I'll have to check the library for Native American folklore about demons in these hills. Hmm, I wonder if the Blair Witch made some pact with a local demon. Well, night has fallen, I've got to get back to town. Oh, the Givna necklace as Gaia gave me. As much as I hate the thought of trekking back out here tomorrow, it's getting a little too late for comfort. I can follow my map back to town.
i've just killed a creature that i can only describe as a monstrous black dog i fail to see any connection however between this beast and the blair witch dogs like this aren't traditionally familiars to witches Trees are blocking my way. creature I just destroyed was enormous. <laughs> Here's hoping there aren't any more that size around here. Finally, the path back to town. Maybe I can get back in time to get a couple hours sleep before dawn. There is no way I could have missed that before. Either it wasn't there, or I couldn't see it because I didn't have this amulet. I didn't plan on running through my supplies so quickly. I'll have to get more before returning to the forest. I can't carry all my gear in town. I'll get it before I go into the woods. Good morning, Miss Holiday. I hope I'm not bothering you. No, not at all. I was just on my way out. What brings you here? Well, I'm not supposed to be over here, but here you go. This is our report on the PAR incident. We never released those drawings, you know, for the family's sake, so if you could keep them under wraps. Thank you. This will help immensely. Sorry they aren't photos. Our department doesn't have a camera, so Sheriff Bowers makes me draw crime scenes. Don't apologize. These are very detailed. There's something else. I watched Parcel again last night, and I found this. Still have no idea how he keeps getting the sticks to make them. He's no help either. Claims the witch put him there. <laughs> Crazy. Thank you, Charlie. Well, I better go. Sheriff's keeping a sharp eye on me. This 
information never made it to the newspapers, and I can see why. All of the victims had ritualistic markings on them. This stick man is similar to the shape in the Brody sketch, and the give Natuana as Gaia gave me. Miss Holliday. Hello. I hate to pry, but uh, what brings you to the town of Burkittsville, anyway? Actually, I'm here on rather grim business. I have a sister who lives in Martinsburg. A few months ago, her daughter disappeared. Oh, my. That, that's just awful, ma'am. You don't think Rustin Pa? After three months, we're desperate to find any clue. So what do you know about Pa? Not much. Pa was a hermit... He only came into town when he had to. No one really knew old Rustin. Enjoying your stay so far? Well, I might fare better if I had a telephone in my room. Oh, well, you see, this is a small town. We only got two phones. One's in the sheriff's office. The other's at the school in case of emergencies. We got a couple of telegraph machines, though. I got one right here. That will do. Can you send a wire now? Suppose so. Where to? This address, please. Ready. Have some leads. Stop. Tell S to stay home. Stop. Love, Elspeth. Stop. All done. Thank you. Have you been to the woods? Did you uh, find what you were looking for? Not yet. Might I send another telegram? Same place as before? Yes, please. Whenever you're ready. Big flashlight almost dead. Stop. Mild lead poisoning. Stop. No doctor in town. Stop. Send remedy quickly. Stop. Love, Elspeth. Stop. Hmm. You feeling poorly? We can go to the sheriff's and call a doctor for you. No, that won't be necessary. My sister can send along a homemade remedy from our mother. I shouldn't draw my weapons in town.
What are you doing? been here before, in that dream. Even the window is shattered. Oh, hello there, young lady. I was so deep in prayer I didn't hear you come in. I can return later if you're busy. Nonsense. God is eternal. He'll always be there when I return. But you're here now. You must be Elspeth Holiday. What can I do for you? Word gets around fast in this town. I'll say a prayer for your niece. I'd rather find an explanation in Burkittsville. After the Rustin Parr trial, I started wondering if maybe he... Oh, no. Not possible. Well, is there anything at all you can tell me about Parr? His is a lost soul. That's all? Where have you been? I thought it was burnt. Are you okay? Emily, you shouldn't talk to her. My mom says she's... No, wait! Hello? Hello? What's your name? Mary Brown. Shouldn't you be in school? Miss Ascot says home early today. She's not doing very well. Really? Why is that? She misses the other kids. Were they your friends? Not really. Just Kyle. But he's not the same anymore. Who were you talking to just now? Um, nobody. I was talking to myself. You look sad. I can't find Mr. Brownie. Mr. Brownie? He's been gone for a few days. What does he look like? He's brown. Uh, well, could you be more specific? Well, he's got soft fur. I'll keep an eye out for him. Bye now. How peculiar. I just met a local girl named Mary Brown. She was talking to someone, but there was no one else with her. She claimed she was talking to herself. But I swear she used the name Emily. Now, one of the girls that Rustin Park killed was named Emily Hollins. I should review the recording of her conversation just to be sure. Also, she seems to have lost some sort of pet, a uh, Mr. Brownie. If I find it, I'll be sure to return it. Oh, nice to see you again, Miss Holliday. Still interested in learning about our local legends? Absolutely. Uh, this book will reveal many things to you. As a single source, it doesn't constitute proof, but I have other volumes that verify its claims. Well, books can only explain so much, but thank you. I'm sure I'll find it fascinating. Finally, I found someone in this little town that doesn't get on my nerves. The town librarian, Peter Durant, is well-educated and quite helpful. He also seems to be the sole link to the real history of Burkittsville. 
I tried to instill some doubt in him, but he's rock solid in his beliefs. He gave me a book entitled Frederick County Tales of the Supernatural, mm, mostly superstitions and local folklore. The few entries that mention the Blair Witch don't offer anything beyond what Spookhouse has already gathered. Is this everything that's been written concerning the Blair Witch? Believe any of it now? Uh-huh. Interesting, but hardly conclusive. Do you have any books on Native American folklore? Well, I'm afraid I don't have much written by Native Americans. There is this book, though. An explorer wrote it during the early 1700s. He had Native American guides, and he wrote a lot about their beliefs and customs. Here you go. This book, The Ancient Evil of the New World, is supposedly non-fictional accounts of real-life legends from the Black Hills. I'll duplicate some of the more probable entries from the book into my field notes. They may prove to have no more substance than the rest. However, if some of these things are for real, I underestimated the magnitude of this mission. By the way, the Robin Weaver incident was mentioned in the book you loaned me. Since you were actually there, do you remember anything they might have missed? Well, there was one man that stands out in my mind. He came in right in the middle of everything. He had a massive wound on his head and claimed he had no memory. Robin Weaver's grandmother called him some biblical name. What was it? Oh, yes, Lazarus like the man that was raised from the dead. I talked to him briefly, uh, skeptical of his intentions, you know, but I doubt he had anything to do with Robin's disappearance. He was pretty keen on finding her. What happened to him? Uh, I'm not sure. Just sort of disappeared. <laughs> Maybe the witch got him.
Did a parcel arrive for me? No, ma'am. Can't say that it has. Hope you get to feeling better, Miss Holiday. Justine! Hey, brought those remedies you needed. Why didn't Spookhouse just send a courier? <laughs> Can't have this stuff falling into enemy hands. Well, I'm happy to see you. Come on, it's the last room on the end. You did bring my ECRE pistol, didn't you? Right here. Had a chance to test the rifle yet? Oh, too many times, but it works quite well. I wasn't sure how badly you were needing it, so I brought two of your modified batteries to give your big gun some extra power. Fabulous. I underestimated this mission when I left. Thank you so much for coming, Justine. You need anything else? No, I have it under control. Thanks. If things get any worse, I'll call in the stranger. Now you better get going. I have a lot more work to do. Thanks again, Justine. I'm ready to go into the woods now. I better take my gear with me. Hmm, no, I shouldn't draw my weapons in town. I just got off the phone with the Sheriff of Martinsburg. An old chum of yours? He's never heard of you. Didn't you say you talked to him before coming here? No one's gone missing from Martinsburg since 34. Oh, you don't say. I'll have to tell that to my sister. Now, you haven't done anything illegal, as far as I can tell. But I got my eye on you. You step out of line, you're mine. You get me, little lady? Thank you, Sheriff. I appreciate your concern. Blast! The local sheriff knows my cover story is bogus. He could stir up some serious trouble if he wanted to. I should try to keep my distance. Did you hear? About what? I just got a phone call. The judge wasn't on vacation. He was murdered. And they found the body at the general store. Sheriff Bowers just arrested Daniel Cole. I'm heading over to find out more. Suzanne Askett just informed me that Rustin Pa's judge was murdered. Daniel Cole, the shopkeeper, has been arrested. I don't know if this has anything to do with Rust and Pa, but it's almost too great a coincidence to ignore. I get the feeling that something even larger is at work here.
More of the devil's work. Oh, sometimes I feel like I'm losing the battle. Always thought he was a big bully. This story just gets darker and darker. Can you believe it? What happened? We got worried when we still hadn't heard from the judge. We searched his place, and it was obvious he hadn't packed for a vacation. We found evidence pointing us here. The body was in Cole's storage room, stuffed in a sack of potatoes. What did Cole say? Says he didn't do it. Claims somebody else put the body in there. Do you believe him? I don't know. Right now, I'm just glad he's not telling me an old woman ghost made him do it. Not yet, but I've been meaning to.
it seems as though the shadow creatures i encountered the last time are nocturnal i hope i finish here before dusk Welcome back to my home. I can see you've learned more about the ways of the forest. I've come into possession of another Tawana. It was found in Rustin Pa's jail cell and it resembles a human form. What does it mean? What you have is a bundle of sticks. Oh, I thought I was on to something. Uh, you are. The figure needs magic. Give it to me. This forest is more than itself. You have learned much. More things I am not allowed to tell you. But I can tell you the path you walk now is the right direction. All right. Tell me this. There's an area near Pa's house, a path with a large wooden structure over it that I couldn't see until you gave me the Givna. What was I seeing? In places throughout this forest, paths branch in directions that cannot be comprehended. Such a place exists near the site of that house. Control the path, Elspeth Holiday. Walk the path. You have the power now, but walk with caution. My ancestors have walked such paths in the past. Few have returned. Ah, delightful.
I've definitely triggered something. I've hung the Tawana over this path and I can see that the forest is different on the other side. I just did something very stupid. I let my curiosity get the better of me and I've gone through some sort of portal without knowing where it leads. It appears I'm still in the same forest, but something feels wrong. This place is not natural. I hope I can find a way back. There's no telling what paths the Tawana are capable of opening. It looks like Pa's house, but that's impossible. It was burned to the ground. Another page from Pa's journal. Another page from Pa's journal.
Another page from Pa's journal. What are these strange symbols covering the walls? Drawing on east wall of Pa's house. I think this is supposed to be coffin rock like the illustrations in the book from the library, but there's only a single boy sacrificed. Is that just a stain on the wall or some sort of shadowy figure looming over the boy? Um, there are also more of those symbols. There are odd shapes on Pa's west wall. There's a cluster of circles with symbols above them. Something, as Gaia said, keeps coming back to me. He suggested that the paths of this forest shift or connect in different ways. This illustration reminds me of a map. Could there be even more parts? And how many? Could this Tawana send me to the real world? I don't have too many options, and right now, more than anything in the world, I want out of here. I'll use this Tawana and hope it takes me where I want to go. Batteries are gone. Without batteries, the ECRE is useless, and it was the only thing that affected the shadow creatures. I just saw Kyle Brody. He was in the basement of Rustin Parr's house and appeared to be communicating with one of the ghosts. Did he follow me through the portal I created? Why would he return to this scene? His mind must be very disturbed. He fled the instant he saw me. Kyle dropped something as he ran away. It looks like the other half of the drawing I got from his teacher. This side is a crude illustration of a girl laid out on a rock. Like a sacrifice. It's reminiscent of depictions of the Coffin Rock Massacre. Who's the girl supposed to be? I should check out Coffin Rock as soon as I leave here. Thank you. 
in this odd forest. I thought I'd be able to get back out of here just by passing through the portal. Oh, good lord, am I trapped here? when I saw him at his house earlier. He must have come here after I saw him at Farmer's. Why did he bring it out here? And why is the stuffing all torn out? That didn't help at all. I'm still in this forest. How on earth do I leave this dreadful place? There's got to be some way back. Tawana is in place. The other side looks like it did before I enter the portal. Let's hope this returns me to the world I know. Oh, thank God, the real world. Time to waste.
At last. Well met. We haven't much time in this place now that the Jeanne's hearts are completely destroyed. And you are... You may call me Jonathan Fry. The witch hunter from 1786? You were here when Ellie Kedward was banished, right? Why do you refer to me in the past tense? Not entirely, I'm afraid. It seems the witch is still at large. Alas! Are all my efforts for naught? As far as I know, the witch was inactive in this region for over 50 years after you encountered her. Perhaps I will yet defeat the witch. I believe I know the witch's true name and the name of her home. If I knew how to use that information, I might be able to defeat her. There is great power in names. Yes. Mm-hmm. So I've heard. I'm afraid our time won't last much longer. As much I wish I could tell you. Perhaps I still can. When I finish my work here, I will leave my journal in the caves near Thoth and Ra. Are you familiar with that area? I didn't know there were caves. That's because I intend to see them when I'm done. Look hard when you're there again. You'll find my journal inside one of the caves. Use the information well. It's all I can do to help. I'll find it. Thank you. Good luck, Hunter. You fight the same. I just spoke with a man who's been dead for over a hundred years. The witch hunter who roamed these hills in the time of Ellie Kedward appeared to me. He promised to leave his journal for me hidden in the caves beneath Coffin Rock. I'll have to go there and... Hello? Who is that? Oh, my batteries. I can finally use my light guns again. And that white owl is back. Welcome back. What have you learned since last we spoke? This forest is much more than it seems. Indeed. If you know how to work its magic, you have seen few of its many paths. I met a man who wandered these woods over a hundred years ago. I believe I was taken back in time, or he was brought forward. Hmm, a convergence. When the path bends right, you can see this forest as it is in the past or as it will be in the future. There is no time when on these paths, only place. They are present, past, and future all at once. The man I spoke to claimed to be hunting the Blair Witch. I assume he never found her. Oh, he may have killed a witch, but the powers in this forest are far greater. Are you saying there's more than one witch, or that the witch isn't human? Neither assumption is incorrect. You have found a witch yourself. The only person I've seen in these woods is Kyle Brody. Ah, oh, now I saw him at Ruston Pa's house. You're telling me that that ten-year-old boy is a witch? The boy is merely a vessel, an innocent victim transformed into a cunning tool of Hecidomix. Hecidomix? Your people give names to things beyond your comprehension. My people do the same. 
The darkness that inhabits this place was here long before man came into this world. It is known to my people as Hecatomix. If you wish to stop Hecatomix, you must remove it from the boy. I am the last one alive who knows how to repel Hecatomix from a human host. Using this Twana, you can drive Hecatomix from the boy. Simply touch the boy with this, and Hecatomix will be torn from his body. But once it's free of the child, that power will return to the forest. Those who have attempted to hunt Hecatomix in its true form have all perished. It must be vulnerable to something. The origin of Twana is unknown. Though legends speak of an ancient tribe that learned to duplicate the magic Hecatomix uses to move through the worlds, the Twana allows us to open countless paths. I have found the names for some of them. A path exists that will take Hecatomix into a realm from which even he cannot escape. So all I have to do is make another Tawana to banish Hecatomix. If it were that simple, my people would have done so long ago. I have never learned the name of the path that will banish Hecatomix. My elders spoke of Hecatomix source, a path so dark and twisted that it took Hecatomix a thousand years to emerge. If you could send the demon back to that place, it would be powerless for the next thousand years. That birthplace is a true name, one that Hecatomix has kept very secret. The witch hunter I encountered in the woods said that he knew the name of the witch and her home. That might actually be the name of the demon's home. He promised to leave his journal for me in the caves near Coffin Rock. Find those caves and the journal. Return to me with the name of the void, and I will help you conquer Hecatomix.
amazing exactly as the witch hunter said a lot of pages are missing but a few show that he encountered some of the same symbols i've seen i've got to get this back to his gaia Did you find what you seek? Perhaps. I have the Witch Hunter's journal. Does this mean anything to you? What's the matter? What is it? When I was a child, my grandfather drew this picture in the sand and told a story. It's the story of Bleeding Boy. Long ago, the first tribe to enter these woods found Hekaitomix waiting. Hekaitomix stole one of their young, and on a dark path atop Coffin Rock, he sacrificed the boy, opening the boy's belly and spilling him across the rock. Because of Hekatomik's power, the boy never dies. He bleeds ceaselessly in agonizing pain. Hekatomik drinks the boy's blood and feeds on his pain. His tribe attempted to rescue him after discovering the secrets of the Twana. Many strong warriors and mighty shaman were taken by Hekatomik. They could not free their captive son. The entire tribe vanished without a trace. Some other stories say that a warrior shaman named Othewenda did survive and left a warning at the edge of these evil woods. This Othewenda is mentioned in some of the literature I found in the Beckettsville Library. Yes, he is well known in many tribes. It is said that Othewenda's magic ward 
remains at the edge of this forest and can only be seen by powerful shaman. With his entire tribe destroyed, Bleeding Boy was doomed to writhe in agony atop Coffin Rock forever. But I've been to Coffin Rock. I saw no one. Bleeding Boy lives in another path, the one mentioned in this journal. Disemboweled on Coffin Rock. Oh, why didn't I notice that before? There's a label here, Mr. Brownie. I thought Mary was talking about a pet, but this teddy bear is her missing Mr. Brownie. I found this teddy bear at Coffin Rock, cut open as if it had been disemboweled. I saw Kyle Brody with it earlier, but now I know it originally belonged to Mary Brown. Who is this Mary Brown? Her name has been kept hidden from me. She's a ten-year-old girl from Burkittsville. Innocent. Like Bleeding Boy. Hecatomix intends to add Mary Brown to his eternal feast atop that accursed rock. Kyle plans to take Mary out to Coffin Rock and sacrifice her. I cannot guess Hecatomix's intentions, but such a thing is possible. You must find and protect Mary Brown. I'll do my best. But about this journal, is there anything useful in it? You might be able to defeat Hecatomix and free Bleeding Boy at the same time. How? Hecatomix will not fall easily into a trap. But with the proper distraction, he may be vulnerable. If you were to free Bleeding Boy and carry him from Coffin Rock, Hecatomix would surely follow. How do I find this Bleeding Boy? I can make the Twana for you from what is written in this journal. What happens once I rescue Bleeding Boy? Using Bleeding Boy as a distraction you could lead Hecatomix through another portal, trapping him in the nameless void. I haven't come across anything that alludes to such a place. How will I find the path for this void? I know not. You may not be the one meant to find it. If it is intended, the path will find you. If the path is learned, return to me at once, and I will tell you what you must do. It's not as simple as the other Twana you have used. I will teach you the proper way to use it. Go now. You must return to town and protect Mary Brown at all costs. Should she fall victim to Hecatomix, his power will increase.
What? Daytime already? It took me all night to get through that forest? Oh, I should drop some of this gear off. It's getting too heavy. Right. Now I need to stop Kyle and protect Mary. Where could they be? Did you hear the news? About Daniel Coe? No. Somebody set fire to the newspaper office and Horace Gersten is missing. Oh, this is really getting out of hand. People are saying he was onto some big story. Something to do with the murdered judge. That maybe Daniel Cole didn't kill him. Can you believe it? I've heard you've been going into the woods. Uh, yes. I just returned from the Pa residence. Alone? I hope you realize how dangerous that is, especially now. Yes, of course. Why are the children not in school? I really need to talk to Mary Brown. It's the weekend. But I do think I saw her in the playground earlier. Yes, she was here. But she left with Kyle Brody a few hours ago. I wonder if Kyle's feeling better. She is such a good soul. She prays with my husband almost every day. If anyone can help Kyle in this strange time, it's that little girl. It's very important that I speak with Mary. Do you have any idea where they went? Oh, they could be anywhere by now. You know kids.
Horace Gaston, the newspaper editor, is missing, and his office has been burnt to the ground. Did he find evidence of Cole's innocence? If that's the case, the killer is still at large. Hmm. Mrs. Ascott claims Kyle left with Mary four hours ago. How could he possibly have gotten all the way from Ruston Pa's house to the school so quickly? What on earth am I up against? If Kyle takes Mary into the forest before I find them, Hekitemik's plan will be complete. I've got to find those two. Mary, thank God you're safe. Hello, Miss Holliday. We were just saying a prayer for poor Mr. Gersten. Care to join us? I can't just now. Have you seen Kyle Brody? Yes, we spoke to God together. He's in the back room now. Take care of Mary, Pastor Ascot. Oh, dear. Is something wrong? I'll be back shortly. Kyle! Are you all right? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. It's all right, Kyle. It's over now. It wasn't your fault. I, I couldn't stop it. I know. It was the witch, not you. I need you to be strong. I need your help. Can you help me? What was the witch making you do? I was telling people to do things. Like rust and pa. Yes. Do you know why the judge was killed? He heard Rustin's confession. The judge knew I was the one that told Rustin what to do. But then Mr. Gersten found out who killed the judge and had stuff to prove it. Why didn't he just tell the sheriff? He wanted to print the story in his newspaper first. Do you know where he is now, Kyle? Yes, I was afraid of that. Now you said the judge was killed because he knew what you were doing. Why does that matter? The judge found out that I've been telling another person what to do, too. Just like Rustin, he did everything I told him, no matter how bad it was. You've been telling Pastor Ascot to do things. He murdered Horace Gersten. And Mary is with him? Kyle, I want you to go right home. I don't want you to see any more bad things. Sure. Will Mary be okay? Yes, thanks to you. Pastor Ascot! Oh, not again. Pastor Ascot? <laughs> Heavens, dear, you startled me. Where are you going, Pastor? What's the shovel for? Hmm? Oh, this? <laughs> I found your little secret under the stairs. Mary, why don't you come here? Mary, you stay at my side. Miss Holliday, I'm doing the Lord's work. If you interfere, you're doing so on behalf of the devil. I'm going to stop the witch forever. No, you've got it the wrong way round. Come, Mary. This woman is an agent of Satan. Oh, my God, I'm too late.
Mm, no, I shouldn't draw my weapons in town. Mary, thank God you're safe. Kyle. Pastor Ascot! Oh, not again. Hmm, no, I shouldn't draw my weapons in town. Pastor Ascot? <laughs> Heavens, dear, you startled me. Where are you going, Pastor? What's the shovel for? Hmm? Oh, this? <laughs> I found your little secret under the stairs. Mary, why don't you come here? Mary, you stay at my side. Miss Holliday, I'm doing the Lord's work. If you interfere, you're doing so on behalf of the devil. I'm going to stop the witch forever. No, you've got it the wrong way round. Come, Mary. This woman is an agent of Satan. Mary, are you all right? Uh-huh. Do you have any idea what the pastor was trying to do? Uh-huh. He wasn't himself. Kyle told him things to do, but it wasn't really Kyle. Pastor Ascot said God was talking to him. And how do you know that? I can see things. What sorts of things? Things that scare people. Um, I'm not supposed to say. Well, I'm not scared. You can tell me. I saw Ellie. She told me something. Ellie Kedward, the Blair Witch? What did she tell you, Mary? She said the forest was coming for me. I heard laughing. Then she told me I would be taken there. She said I wouldn't like it. Bad things would happen to me. Then I heard laughter again. I was very scared. You don't have to be scared anymore. The Blair Witch was using the pastor, but he won't hurt you now. It's not over. It comes for you too, Elspeth. The evil's after you now. It knows your name. Your real one. What do you mean? I can tell you three things. First, listen for the call and remember the warning that came in the night. Next, sometimes good things are ugly. Last, find the old woman whose mind was lost in the forest. The old woman? You mean Robin Weaver. But where? I've looked and can't find her house anywhere. Good God, you've killed Pastor Ascot. Wait, I can explain. I didn't kill him. What's going on out here? Oh, dear God. <laughs> what have you done to my husband? my head. Was I hallucinating? That couldn't have been real. I've retreated to the edge of the forest outside of town. I can't be certain if they were real, but I was surrounded by disembodied heads, like the legends of the faces of the forest. I've got to get back to town. I hope it's not too late to settle things with the sheriff.
Are you Robin Weaver? Why does this feel like a fairy tale? Perhaps because I'm about to be eaten by a witch that lives in the middle of the woods in a house made of candy. Hello? You're the woman I saw in the woods yesterday evening. Are you Robin Weaver? All right. Um, you have a very interesting home. The bottles hanging from the trees are melodic. I see. Um, is this a Civil War uniform? So, live in the woods long? They ward off evil spirits. Sorry? The bottles. Haunts are frightened by the music the wind plays on them. The uniform is from a man named Lazarus good man that helped this town and its children long ago. He knew well what evil resides in these woods. He came back once, could come back again. But you aren't here to chat. Nobody visits me for small talk. Why is that? I hear the voices. I put a page on the wall for you. My name is on this page. How could... There's another Tawana here. Is this what I'm looking for? Is this what I need to defeat Akitamix? I hear the voices. You hear them too, don't you? I believe I do. Thank you, Miss Weaver. Wait, I can explain, but you've got it all wrong. That's enough. Back off. Who the hell are you? FBI. Dr. Holliday is an agent of the United States government. Back away. Now. What the hell is this? We found it in her room. That's government property. I'd thank you to place it gently on the ground. You didn't say you were a fed. Internal investigation. It doesn't concern you. Well, I don't give a good goddamn if you are FBI. You just attacked an unarmed man. But she was helping me. The pastor was confused. He was going to hurt me. Now, Mary, I don't know what kind of lies she's been feeding you, but I assure you she's up to no good. If you'll search the front of the church, you'll find Horace Gaston's body. Pastor Ascot is the real killer. What? No! That's not true! No! You've incarcerated the wrong man, Sheriff. Daniel Cole is innocent. Hey, you're out of line, lady. The pastor here is an upstanding citizen. Kyle Brody can answer all your questions. <laughs> Kyle Brody? That boy hasn't said a word since he left Parr's house. It's true! She cured my boy! Whatever she did, Kyle's back to normal. He told me all about the pastor. Miss Holliday is telling the truth. She's not a killer, then? Maybe she's not so bad, after all. She's a hero. No wonder she was so curious about our history. 
Just finish whatever business you have and get out of town. I don't ever want to see your face in Burkittsville again. What happened? Come on, we'll get you patched up and head to town hall for a few questions. Questions? Glad you showed up. Where'd you get that badge? Thanks. Stranger, it is good to see you. Are you okay? You look like hell. When was the last time you slept? I can't remember. I've lost track of time. It's easy to do in these woods, I assure you. Time doesn't work normally here. I, I changed my mind. Or something changed it for you. Dreams. About you. You don't say. Pleasant dreams, I suppose. You murdered the town. Then yourself. Yes, that nearly happened. I was, uh, hallucinating. I saw the townspeople transform into monsters. I almost shot them. I think I had the same dream. I'm convinced it was some sort of premonition. If I hadn't had that dream, I may well have killed everyone in town. Hmm. Unusual. Anyway, since you're here, how about lending a hand? Is there actually something here? Or is it just the overactive imagination of simple townsfolk? Oh, there's definitely something here. So what's the connection between the boy and the witch? It was no witch. There's a presence in the forest. A demon, most likely. I think all the stories about the Blair Witch stem from the same source. Rustin Pa was influenced by the demon who inhabited Kyle Brody. A chitimix, through Kyle Brody, convinced the pastor that it was God's will that he sacrificed Mary Brown. Before this incident, I'm sure that the demon controlled others, probably all the way back to Ellie Kedward, probably even further. You're all right? Better now. Thanks, stranger. So where is this heck idol mix? Nearly there, but we can't just go barging in. Stranger? Oh, blast it. I hate it when you do that.
You have obtained the path of Hekaitomik's Dark Realm. Yes, from Robin Weaver. She gave me this Tawana. It could be the path leading to the void of Hekaitomix. Robin Weaver has uncommon vision and has been touched by Hekaitomix. It is possible that she learned the demon's true name. Once a Kytomix is through, I must place the final Tawana. I just have to make sure the timing is perfect. I should set up the real world to honor as soon as I get to the other side, so it will be ready when I return with Bleeding Boy. Yet, I don't have the boy.
I could do. Stranger, where are you? I need you here. Stranger! I'm on it. Go. doing one last to honor timing must be perfect is for you. You're free now. Go to Telmakek where you belong. Where did you go before? Somewhere else. It was darker. I think I've been there. Hakitamex pulled me into a dark realm on more than one occasion. There was a gen. I killed it, then returned here. How do you know about gens? Who doesn't know about gens? Stranger, did you put this pile of stones here? Do I really have to answer that? There's another Tawana here. It changes the name of this portal. That thing must have put an extra Tawana down so it wouldn't be banished to the void I opened. We must go after it. That's not a good idea. That new portal could lead anywhere. Hokkaido Mix must be trapped inside. Otherwise, he'd never let us free the boy. You won, Doc. You beat it. Let's go. How can we be certain? If it comes back, we'll be here. Record those new characters. If we have to find Hokkaido Mix again, we'll know where to start.